Android is the most popular operating system in the world that powers more than 2 billion devices. But there's also something called Android platform. So what's the difference between Android platform and Android operating system? Well, let's start with Android operating system. Later in this video, we will discuss the various components that it contains. But for now, let's just say that it's a black box, something that we use. And then we have a larger entity, Android platform, that contains Android operating system, but there are additional companies in it. So one of these additional companies is Android SDK, Software Development Kit. That's basically a set of components that Android developers use to develop Android applications. And then we have Android Studio, which is the official IDE, Integrated Development Environment, for developing Android applications. That's basically the place where developers write their code. Android CDD, Compatibility Definition Document. Most Android developers haven't even heard about this document, but it's still a very important part of the platform because it defines the compatibility requirements that various device manufacturers who are free to modify Android operating system to their needs must still satisfy. So basically, this document ensures that whatever modifications various manufacturers do, you will be able to run your Android applications on this modified Android operating system. And in conjunction with CDD, we have CTS, Android CTS, Compatibility Test Suite. This is a very comprehensive suite of tests that device manufacturers should execute on their modified versions of Android operating system to make sure that they indeed satisfy all the requirements stated in CDD, Compatibility Definition Document. Once again, most Android developers don't need to know about these things, but they are very important parts of the platform because these companies are ensuring that the applications that Android developers write will execute on the very many different devices that are powered by Android operating system. And there are probably more components, but they are less important. So that's Android platform. It contains Android OS and additional components. Now let's discuss Android operating system specifically. So Android operating system contains the following stack. And I took this image from the official platform guide from Android developers website. Now, please notice that they call this Android platform. But I actually think that this is not the correct term here. The correct term is Android operating system because platform, the larger platform, should definitely contain, let's say, the uh, CDD and CTS because these are very important companies that ensure compatibility across all the Android ecosystem. So we will call this Android operating system, but it's really not that important because it's just a semantics, you know, whether you call it a platform or operating system. Let's understand what's going on here. Now, when you look at this diagram, it can be very scary because there are so much stuff there. But luckily, most Android developers don't need to deal or even understand most of these blocks. So at the very top, we have system applications, system apps. And these are just pre-installed applications on end user devices. As an Android developer, you rarely ever care which applications are being pre-installed there and you almost never use them. So these are pre-installed Android applications, forget about them. And the bottom part of this diagram is something that I will call under the hood stuff. So these are very important companies that make Android work, but really as an Android developer, if you just want to develop Android applications, you don't really need to understand how all of that works and you will probably never use this stuff directly. And therefore we can just ignore it for now. And this leaves us with just this one single block called Java API framework. And this is basically the abstraction layer for third-party Android applications. Basically what it means is that this level, this component hides all the additional complexity of the underlying Android operating system. That's what it means to be abstraction layer. Abstraction is just like hiding complexity and exposing just the important stuff. And it exposes a very handy API that we Android developers use when developing our applications. And that's why we can kind of ignore this under the hood stuff, unless you want to dig deeper or you want to develop something for the Android operating system itself. But if you just want to develop applications for Android, you don't really need to understand anything except for this Java API framework. And now let's discuss at a very high level how we develop Android applications and how the different parts of Android platform come into play in this process. First, we develop applications, right? 
and it starts with the developer. And the developer will use Android Studio to write their code. The officially supported languages for Android are Java and Kotlin, with Kotlin being the officially recommended one. Java is kind of old legacy stuff. So developer will use Android Studio Mostly, you can use other IDs as well, but Android Studio is by far the most popular choice. And they will also need to use Android SDK, Software Development Kit. That's the set of components that allow you to develop Android application, build it and release to end users. And of course, Android development is a very complex process, so there are many more tools that developers will use, but Android Studio and Android Software Development Kit are the most important ones. And then we have Android app execution, how it executes on end user devices. And surely it starts with a device, a device that is powered by Android operating system. And now the question becomes how the results of all these app development activities reach end user devices. And the answer is that we use APK files. Basically, the end result of all development activities is just one single file that has .apk extension. And it is this file that is being distributed to end users. They install it on their devices and that's how the users get new applications. So APK file is being transferred from the developers to end users. It is important to understand that the way Android developers make their applications work on end user devices is by using this component called Android Software Development Kit. So Android Software Development Kit is the component that developers use to issue commands to Java API framework, that abstraction layer that we discussed in the previous slide at runtime. So this is an essential component for Android developers to use because it kind of translates the intent of Android developers to Android operating system running on end user devices. And that's basically it. Now you understand the difference between Android operating system and Android platform. You know that Android operating system is just part of Android platform and you know about other important components constituting Android platform and how they are used in the general Android ecosystem.